Damon, how are you? I'm good. Good. I, I hear you're celebrating uh, America Recycles Day right now with Bud Light. What exactly are you doing there? Uh, we are here in the beautiful Hollyweird of Los Angeles, California. And um, as you can see behind me is a goalpost made up entirely of recycled cans. 125,000 to be exact. A little more than that, actually. But, um, and we're here, you know, kind of promoting, not kind of, we are promoting uh, recycling. And Bud Light is behind it because Bud Light, as you know, is the official beer of the NFL. And they have taken it upon themselves to take this goalpost with them throughout the United States. And they're setting up, like they've been to nine different cities and uh, LA is the last stop, but what they're doing is they're setting them up in different tailgates during, uh, during games, before games, and they're having people kick balls kind of in the spirit of recycling. I think it's really funny. It's really fun, and it's cool to see people mess up. It's cool to, to, cool to see people succeed, but uh, really what it's doing is, is keeping people uh, thinking about recycling on this day. Yeah, and especially, you know, you just mentioned Bud Light. A lot of people tailgate with Bud Light. What message do you have for those people going to the games this weekend, going to the games over Thanksgiving to recycle? Uh, just make sure that you recycle. Don't, um, don't have too much fun to where you forget it. Or don't get too mad to where you throw something on the ground. If you get mad, throw it in something blue. Crunch it up. And, and, mm -hmm. well, yeah, just and, and, and you look at those goalposts behind you, you know, you, everyone knows about your family's comedic abilities, but who do you think in your family would be the one to be able to kick a field goal through there? Um, well, there's this guy standing right in front of you. I did it twice already, man. I got a hot leg. You did it twice? Could, could your dad do it? Uh, maybe. I mean, yeah. My dad, maybe. Uh, no, let me see. Let me, uh, Keenan could do it. I feel like Keenan could do it. He's, like, good at every sport. Um, and then everybody else sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lie. They're all terrible at sports. Everyone? Yes. Not all of them. You have to, you this have guy. To be this guy's awesome. Yeah, they're good. They're really funny. But they also do everything else funny. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, like, against their will. They have terrible, terrible balance. A little Charlie Brown action, kicking the ball. Oh man, I would love, I would love to Charlie Brown my family out here. It would be so funny. <laughs> be so um, good. And, and you've got your TV show Happy Ending. It's yes. been picked up for a third season. It's underway. What should viewers expect from that as the uh, as the year goes on? One more time. Uh, your, your show, Happy Ending, mm -hmm. picked up for a third season. You guys are underway in the third season. You know, what should viewers expect from that and their character, Brad Williams, in the coming season? Um, I think that, that as far as the whole season goes, I think just expect more laughter. Um, I think uh, we've gotten a couple of new writers that are really adding to the already funny show. And, um, and as far as Brad goes, uh, he was fired in the, at the end, or well, he was let go at the end of the second season. And this third season, he's kind of trying to figure out whether he wants to be the house husband or he, you know, wants to get up and, and you know, attack that workforce. And so uh, you kind of see him going through that. And we're already shooting. You've only, uh, we only aired three episodes of this season, but we're shooting. We're like on the 11th episode shooting-wise. So there's a lot of surprises coming your way. We've got David Allen Greer coming on the show soon. He's going to be in uh, the next episode that we're shooting. So you guys won't see it until like, I don't know, January maybe? But it's gonna be really funny. He plays my boss when I finally get another job. And, and outside the show, you, you, know, you, you do comedy, you do some more acting. What, what lies ahead in that regard? What lies ahead for young Damon Wayans Jr.? Hmm. Well, um, got a movie coming out next year called Someone Marry Barry. Uh, I'm gonna also be doing a lot of uh, stand-up when we like towards the summer. You know, when we stop shooting, we stop shooting in March. So I'm gonna be doing stand-up for the summer, um, and that's pretty much what I'm gonna be doing. Maybe another movie. Right. Mm -hmm. Who knows? Maybe some crocheting. I don't know. Maybe learn how to play the bongos. Dude, the world is mine at the end of the day. 
some more yeah, recycling. Yeah, James, I, I wish you the best of luck. <laughs> Thanks, man. Uh, and also good luck recycling. Oh, dude, I'm going to recycle the heck out of this world right now. My name is recycled. Think about that. It's been used before. I'll leave you with that. That's great. That's very true. All right, James, thanks for joining us uh, on thepostgame.com today. Have a good one, man. Appreciate you. Thanks. Bye.